In this video, we are going to learn about humerus bone and its anatomy. Humerus is the longest and also the strongest bone of the upper limb. Many muscles which manipulate the arm, at the forearm, at the elbow, and the shoulders, are anchored to the humerus. The region articulates forming part of the shoulder joint. The humerus is the basis to which muscles insert, like the pectoralis major, the deltoid, and others. Now let's have a look on the parts of the humerus. Follow the markings on the screen to have a better insight. The humerus is composed of three components, upper end, lower end, and shaft. The upper end consists of 1. Head The head of the humerus is smooth, rounded and makes one third of a sphere. It is encompassed by an articular hyaline cartilage which in turn is thicker in the core and thinner at the periphery. 2. Neck The humerus has three necks, anatomical neck, surgical neck, and morphological neck. Anatomical neck The anatomical neck is constricted at the margins of the rounded head, and provides connection to the capsular ligament of the shoulder joint. Surgical neck The surgical neck is a short constriction in the upper end of the shaft below the greater and lesser tubercles or below the epiphyseal line. Morphological neck Morphological neck is the junction between diaphysis and epiphysis and is represented by an epiphyseal line in the adult bone. 3. Greater tubercle Greater tubercle is one of the most lateral component of the proximal end of humerus. 4. Lesser tubercle Lesser tubercle is a minor elevation on the front of upper end of humerus, just above the surgical neck and supplies connection to subscapularis muscle. 5. Intertubercular sulcus or bicipital groove Intertubercular sulcus is a vertical groove between lesser and greater tubercles. Now coming to the lower end. The lower end consists of capitulum, trachea, radial fossa, coronoid fossa, Medial epicondyle, lateral epicondyle, and oclearanum fossa. Capitulum is a lateral rounded convex projection. Trochlear is a medial pulley shaped structure. Radial fossa, which is a small fossa above the capitulum. Coronoid fossa is a small fossa above the trochlea. Medial epicondyle, which is a prominent projection on the medial side. Lateral epicondyle, which is a prominent projection on the lateral side, but less than the medial epicondyle. And olecranon fossa, which is a big, deep and hollow on the posterior aspect above the trachea. Lastly, the shaft. The shaft is a long part of bone extending between its upper and lower ends. It is cylindrical in the upper half, but flattened and teroposteriorly in the lower half. If this video helped you, do like and share.